It's been 336 days since the Indians Game 7 World Series lost in the early morning hours of November 3rd. Not that we're counting. Since then, the Tribe has gone on to win 102 games. The Browns have won one, but those aren't the numbers that are important. The number that is 11. The number of wins that now stand between us and this. It's heavier than it looks. In stunned silence, they stood on that third morning of November, immediately vowing 2017 would be the year to remember. Words uttered through salty rain delayed tears, the feelings of many. We'll be back next year. Ah, the mantra of Cleveland that headlines our journals, right up there with the old standby, hope springs eternal. But this is a new Cleveland, one we can truly believe in. The tribe gave us a marker that they're ready to cash, and to a national audience, we as a city are ready to splash. Those images of Cleveland at night that let us go forth and boast, you want a city that's winning? Make your way to this coast. There is research that shows, and it's also intuitive, that if you think more positively about a place, you are far more apt to choose it. And talk about the stuff of myth. Look what happened on October 5th. Exactly 10 years ago on this day in 2007, the Cleveland equivalent of manna from heaven. The midges rose from the lake and took down the Yankees, leaving a pitcher named Jabba itchy and cranky. And 20 years ago on this very night, again in the playoffs, Sandy Homer to right to tie up a game that they go on to win, along with the series again to the Yankees and Joe Torre's chagrin. And to mark the anniversary of Alomar's homer this evening, the former Indians catcher won't be receiving, but rather throwing the first pitch as we honor the past and look ahead to a ride we hope till November will last. For the E-Team, I'm John Kasich. Sorry, nothing rhymes with Kasich.